Capricorn. This is your weekly message. Capricorn. Um, thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank y'all for subscribing to the channel. Thank y'all for all the love and the support. Thank y'all for the bookings as well. Much love to y'all. Um, y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but this person, because we got Keeper, a Keeper by Drake. This is someone, this is someone that you feel like is a keeper or was a keeper until you found out some type of bad news, you found out some type of unforeseen information. And it changed your perspective of this person since you found out this. Somebody could drive a Benz. This could have been someone that you had a friendship with and it turned to lovers and friends. You was like the homie lover friend type. Never really a full blown relationship. But let's go and get into your message. found out somebody is being dishonest somebody that you might have gave another chance to someone that you gave multiple opportunities to fix the relationship this is someone that could have messed you over did you dirty? And this is someone that you possibly took back after they did you dirty. But you are learning a lesson. And now you have been, I'm seeing the Ten of Swords energy. You've been betrayed, lied to for the last time. I assess matters carefully and discern wisely. See? You got some type of information that came out. A lie that came out. You know. Put it like this. When you know better, you do better. So now that you know better, you about to do better. I seek truth and my and act upon my realizations. I seek truth. So again, there's some type of truth that came out. That betrayed you. This is someone that left you abandoned, left you feeling left out. You was confused. Seven of cups energies. A lot of illusions. A lot of confusion. Toxic and manipulative. Somebody that you felt trapped with. Somebody that was controlling, obsessive. Could have been an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or this is you, Capricorn. Or Capricorn, you obsessing about an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that cut you deep. They hurt you and left you. They played you. They cut you deep. 
you felt trapped to this person. You felt like you couldn't move, you couldn't leave. But now, you made a decision. You're recognizing that it's time to leave. You are. Hmm. You feel like it's a missed opportunity, but you are. You've been waiting patiently. You've been waiting patiently to get this information. Once you got whatever information it is you got, you felt like you had some type of victory, some type of success. Even after being left out. Even after after being left and abandoned. You got some options. They say never tell him that you love him. Options by Melitia. I don't even know who that is. They said, but it did say. It did say. And that dick ain't that good to get treated that way. So this is definitely somebody that you was treated poorly. High Priestess. You knew you should have been treated better. Maybe you did some type of spell work around the full moon. You feel trapped. Some type of jaw magic about working or investing with someone giving towards a connection that you want to heal and that's the truth because you love this person so you want to heal this connection because you love them you want to work with them because you love them so you are going to forgive this person yeah because you made a decision. You intuitively are... You are intuitive, but you are following your intuition with this connection or this person. And that's definitely an Aries that wants to provide. Or this Aries is taking a risk towards you to provide. They've been planning this for a while, waiting sad and lost without you but they are now coming in to offer you something stable something solid something long term after you ended the situation they want to transform the situation they don't want to be left out in the cold anymore they don't want to be sad anymore somebody can see a pelican or somebody could be from Louisiana. Somebody watching you. Somebody watching you from a distance. Living your best life. Somebody is watching you get your destiny. Or somebody knows that y'all are destined to be together. Someone might possibly feel that way. Yeah. Reconciliation. So someone feels like you are their world. Someone has made judgment and they want to come in and apologize to you. They want to come in and apologize to you. And it could be this emperor that wants to bring you this happiness. Because you are their ten of pentacles. They want this new passionate beginning. They have took a break or a rest. They had to go back and reflect. But they know that they want this marriage, this high level commitment, something with a strong foundation. They know they want it with you. And the skills will be balanced. You and this person. You could be definitely dealing with a fire sign or somebody has fire in their chart. There's just a lot of passion between y'all. You were hot tidy. Let's see how long for your person comes towards you. How 
along before the collective person comes towards you. How long? Perfect timing. First one out. So, in perfect timing, a person will come towards you. Big happy changes. So, you got some big happy changes coming at the bottom of the deck with the next few weeks. So, get ready to celebrate. And get ready for some big happy changes because they're definitely coming, Capricorn. Mm, uh oh, that fell out fast. We got Killing Me Softly, Lauren Hill, Gemini, Missing You, Aaron Hall, Leo, Script for You, R. Kelly, Capricorn. Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra, Capricorn, Gemini, number five and number 12. So my birthday can be May the 12th or something significant could happen on May the 12th. This is y'all weekly message. Thank y'all for rocking with me, Capricorn. Y'all be easy.